I don't know what this vlog is going to be, but you guys want to go home decor shopping with us. So we are going to hit up Ikea today because um, I'll show you guys actually really quick before we go. We installed our brand new dishwasher. It's a Samsung for anyone who's wondering. It wasn't super expensive, which is good, but does the job. But the cabinet that used to be there actually is over here now. But obviously we need the counter still on that side. So we are going to have to grab a counter for over here. I mean, it works for now and stuff, but we just, we need a counter. Just some research and it looks like this entire kitchen was actually from Ikea. So I know that this countertop should be in stock. So we're gonna head over there today, but hopefully there's some other cool stuff that I can take you guys around and we can see what's new at Ikea. <laughs> Not sponsored. I'm gonna pull up a photo right beside this sofa. This is the Farlov sofa by Ikea. It is $12.49. Um, there's a restoration hardware one that looks a lot like this and obviously it's way more expensive So I know it may seem like a bit of a reach, but if you're on a budget and want like a similar vibe I think that this may work and it's a sofa bed So it folds up into a real bed. What do we think of these guys? These are the Vedbo chairs. They're 239 and are very like Scandinavian we don't need any more chairs. We have a lot of chairs. I think that they're very cute. Ooh, and this velvet one's pretty too. This is new. This looks really comfortable. This is the Far Love. Oh, so this is like the matching chair. It's like in a velvet. I think this is really nice. This doesn't even really look like Ikea. I feel like this looks like more expensive, you know? What? What are you looking for? Oh, nice. So it's actually not this one. This one's real wood and I know ours isn't real wood. It's really similar, but this is it. Oh. I know this is it. Ikea has clothes now, who knew? It's a chair cover. It's not Are you sure it's a chair That's cover? Always... That's so weird. Well, I guess you could wear it as a shirt too. Um, okay, so I want to show you guys, they don't have the stools that we had. They changed them up. So now they're like triangular, but I still think that this is really chic. Like this black one I think is nice. I really like these outdoor chairs. I think they look, what? I think they look more expensive than they actually are. They're 60 bucks. They're easy to wipe down. They're plastic, so you don't have to like maintain them. You just put a cover on them. Like if you have a small apartment patio, I think this could also work too. I think they're cute. I find that the cheapest place to get hangers, like wooden hangers that are nice and good quality, is at Ikea. They're $6.99 for the pack, and I think they're really great. Do we need more of them actually? I'm gonna grab, a, I'm gonna grab some. Okay, so we're at bed sheets right now, and I wanna show you guys a few options if you like the look of Brooklyn in and all those really expensive sheets, but you don't want to pay the price. But the first one is actually this pink one over here. This one is the Kranzkrich. <laughs> so I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's $24.99 for the twins. So obviously a little more expensive for the double or queen, but oh yeah, $34.99 for the queen actually. But this, like see this weave, this gives you that linen look without having to pay for like a linen price. I think the matching bed pillowcase is actually really cute too. This one, like I swear Brooklyn, it has something like this and it's chambray. Um, it's reversible, which is good. It gives you two different looks, but I really like this pinstripe. I think it's really cute. This one is $60 for the double or queen duvet cover, but I think worth it. If you don't like this reversible thing, they also have it, this option, which is kind of similar too. And this one's $40 and really really cute and just gives you that like really preppy put together vibe i'm pretty sure this one is linen it says right here um i'm not sure it looks kind of expensive but they definitely do have some linen options this is like that rusty rosy color and it's really pretty i think for the right room this could work as well okay guys thanks to my instagram you guys actually had some intel on the hovet mirror they don't have this in stock anymore we could check I Look, they got temporarily oversold. I would literally take the this one. I heard that they're actually discontinuing it and then reissuing it, so it's probably gonna be more expensive, but yeah. Okay, so we just finished up with IKEA. We got a few things. I'll show you guys later at home. I mean, it's not that exciting, but we are actually close to a home sense and it's like the middle of the day, which is the best time to go because they're really not busy at all. Yeah, we are gonna go. Guys, we're here. I'm really excited. Oh my God. <laughs> oh, it's a car seat. I thought it was just a seat. So it goes in the loops here. Through. Oh, like, a, like, the, yeah. like the sus child seats. 
Yeah, kind of. This is so cute. This one's 400, but it's like an outdoor patio bed thing. This is the best place to get towels and like all your bathroom accessories because you get really good quality towels, but at a way less expensive price, obviously. But this is where Dylan and I've got most of our towels always at home since. I'm pretty sure we own these. Like this type of like Turkish towel style, they usually get a lot in stock and they're really good quality, very inexpensive. You can't go wrong. So the quilt on our bed was around $250. It was from Anthropology. This one is extremely similar. It's a king size like the other one, except this one's a hundred bucks, which I think is actually a really good deal. It's really pretty too. Like this is, this is really cute. They have really good wine glasses here too, actually. They're really good quality. And they're always like here, like literally always here. And they sell these at like William Ashley and places like that. Home Sense was a bust, but I did buy some stuff at a different trip. So I'll show you guys that stuff. Woo, it is bright. It's warm out today. Yeah, so I'll show you guys that stuff when we get home. But we're gonna pick up our counter because it was actually at the Ikea warehouse. So we had to go grab that. Am I in frame? <laughs> okay, so off we go. Just that. Hi, we're picking up our countertop. Obviously, we are home now, and I want to show you guys some of the stuff that I bought. I didn't buy any huge big ticket items or anything. The main thing that we did get was our countertop. There was actually another store we visited a while ago, and I didn't really vlog it or do anything, so I'm still undecided on it, but I'm debating whether to get one of these chairs. Um, we found a really good deal for it, but uh, I don't really want to talk about it unless we actually get it, and I can like speak to the quality. I don't want to recommend something that I'm not crazy about. But I found a really good deal on this type of chair. And uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna get it for the studio or not. Still thinking about it. The other situation that we literally just got into today is that we pretty much found out that we're probably going to have to buy a new car in the near future. And by new car, I mean new old car. We're gonna be purchasing a used car like we did before. Um, and we don't really know what we're going with, but we are on a budget because we want to put most of our money into the house So as long as something is safe and working and drivable for the next few years Like that's what we're looking for. So if you have any suggestions, please let us know um, Nothing fancy. That's it. Let's move on to the haul, shall we? So at Ikea, I only picked up two things. The first thing I picked up were these water vessel things and Dylan Found, Dylan thought it was a good idea to actually fill these with distilled water or filtered water so that way we can use it in our humidifier and just store these in the fridge or just like under the sink or wherever so that way um, we have that for our humidifier. These are the Corkins and they are $2.99. It's like the type of bottles you get like for restaurants and stuff like that. Uh, I picked up two of these because they were very, very inexpensive. The other thing we picked up at Ikea is these wooden hangers. Um, I have black velvet hangers in my own closet, but for coats and heavier items, I think wood is just the way to go. We use these for Dylan shirts, we use these for all our winter coats, and we definitely needed some more. So these are just going right into the front closet. So on a previous HomeSense trip, not this HomeSense trip, I actually got a few things. The first thing I want to show you it looks really similar to our rug, and that's why I purchased it. This 100% cotton bath mat. And doesn't this look so similar to our living room rug? And uh, looks like something you can easily get at like Anthropology or Urban or anywhere like that, except it was $16, so a lot less expensive. The other kind of textile-ish thing I got from HomeSense is these kitchen like tea towels. I love the towels that look very like, like from like a Parisian kitchen or something. And I think that these are very classic. And then I also picked this up I'm from HomeSense. This was $35. It's just this little rattan stool. Um, the plan is to put a little shearling thing over this and then have it for when Toledo needs to get up onto our bed or maybe the sofa or something. I just thought it was cute. I still have 30 days to return it if I don't find a place for it, but I think it's adorable. That's the end of this haul. If you guys like these like home decor shop with me videos, definitely subscribe because there's gonna be so many more. We have so many rooms to furnish and all that and I'm really, really pumped about it.